Hi guys, I've got another video for you and this one is going to be my monthly beauty favorites for August. I hope you can hear me over the chirping of the cicadas, but there's not that much I could do about that. So I hope that won't be too distracting. Um, I wanted to say that um, for people going through Hurricane Irma, my heart is with you. I do have family in Florida and I'm glad to say that they're okay. So it's like a little nerve wracking, <laughs> but um, you know, so my heart is with you guys and, and I hope that everyone's okay. And my little one is just starting play group. She's going to be three in November. So she's getting really big and it's so strange that she's not with me for a portion of the day. And, um, so we'll see how this works when I film in the morning. But anyway, let me get into my favorites. So the first one I wanted to talk about is the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. And um, everyone was hyping this on YouTube and I wanted to try it out to see what it was like. And um, I first I didn't get it. Um, <laughs> I used it and I thought like, why is this so awesome? And um, as I started using it more, I appreciated it more because it's got a fine mist and you don't even feel it when it goes on. You don't feel like you have a film on your face. So that's really, really nice. And I think it's about as um, strong and lasting as about most other setting sprays. I didn't notice anything, you know, too extreme in either direction about it, but I do like the fact that it's lightweight and um, the only thing that is maybe a little annoying about it is that it takes a little longer, I've noticed, for it to dry than most other setting sprays that I've tried. So, but I still like it a lot and um, I was using it a lot in August. And the next one that I wanted to talk about is the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara. Now this is in the waterproof formula and I did a full review on it if you want to check it out but this one I really really love I did get a new tube just recently so it may take it a little bit of a while to um, get to where exactly that I want it but I do like this one a lot and um, I will link the video down below of my full review on this mascara though so check it out if you haven't already and um, then the next one I want to talk about is the Rimmel Lasting Finish by Kate. This is the Nude series and this one is a number 45. I don't know, these things don't have names, but um, it's really, really pretty. Here's a swatch of it right here and it's like a sheer mauve. I don't know. It's like so pretty and um, kind of a rosy nude, but it's really, really nice. And I was reaching for that a whole lot, so I really like that one. And then the next one I wanted to talk about is um, this nail polish by Sally Hansen. It's called the Th Color Therapy Series. And this one says it's an argan oil formula, and I really noticed a difference about how the formula goes on, and it does feel like I have something extra on my nails, like, um, you know, a little bit more of a luxury ingredient. So, um, and that doesn't seem to affect the way it dries or anything like that. Um, this one is in the color Therapeuter, and I was wearing that a lot in August, and it's just such an interesting color. The reason why I gravitated towards it, because I saw a green cast when I bought it, so I didn't quite understand the name, because I don't really see it as a pewter color, unless maybe I have my nails, like, straight down, um... But um, this one is more of an olive or khaki color with a gold micro shimmer to it. So I don't know if you can see that in the light, but um, really, really pretty and a very different color for me. But um, I do love olive or khaki colors um, in general. So I love them as an eyeshadow. So I thought I'd try it as a nail polish. <laughs> so, um, so I was really loving that one. 
And the next one I wanted to talk about is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder. And I've spoken about this before in another favorites video. Please excuse the sticker. Um, and it's in the color 821E or Warm Light. And when I first used this, um, I thought that if I put on a lot of it, it would start to look cakey. And it actually doesn't even do that. So that's really great. So because this month or the month of August, I was putting it on a little bit more with a heavier hand and it still looked great and it didn't um, emphasize fine lines at all. So I'm really shocked and pleasantly surprised by that. So um, that's pretty awesome for Wet n Wild, especially since their products are so reasonable. I really like that. So um, the next product I want to talk about is the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip. So this is their lip gloss line, um, and this is the color Fairy Floss, and I'll do a swatch of it too. It's kind of like a milky, um, beigey pink, I guess. And there it is right there. And it's kind of like a medium weight gloss. and. So it's not totally sheer, and I love putting this over the um, Maybelline Into Matte Nudes because they're matte, so um, this kind of takes the matte <laughs> out of the formula so that I can enjoy the color with a little bit of uh, shine. So I really like that, and that's what I was kind of mainly using this for. and. Then the last one that I have to talk about is actually a flop. Um, I was using this for a while. This is the Garnier Skin Active line and it's called Clearly Brighter Anti-Puff Eye Roller. So it's got this little metal ball at the top and you're supposed to kind of roll it on, you know, right up, you know, up to your lash line is fine. and. Um, it's supposed to also um, brighten. I didn't notice that. And as far as the um, anti-puff, I, I noticed like a little bit after working with it for a week or so. Um, I wasn't blown away by it. But on the plus side, it didn't irritate me. So that's never a given for me. And um, so... I just found it a little bit drying after using it for a while I noticed that even when I put a moisturizer on top it just um, it seemed like my under eye area was getting a little bit drier so for that reason I think I would stop using this so oh well I mean it's from the drugstore so it wasn't terribly expensive or anything like that but um, so those are my thoughts on those products and I hope you enjoyed this video and you can follow me on Facebook at yeah for Real Beauty um, to you know see more updates and find out when I'm putting up my next video. And um, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.